He was mighty God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you glory, Father. Glory You're a mighty God. You're a mighty God. So good. He is so good. He's so good. He's mighty. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has been in my life so much. I, 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 I have a little rupture just in my neck. I couldn't feel my hands and all my fingers, you know. And I just bought a brand new 12 string guitar and didn't get it you know. That drove me crazy. But, and now I was walking around like I was drunk and I wasn't, you know. I was just uh, in my neck. And uh, so I was pretty scared at the time. It wasn't painful, but it was scary. Mm. You know, I couldn't feel and I couldn't, you know, move properly. I think <laughs> I you can hear me without that. I don't know, but, no, we really want to hear you. All right. But, uh, but uh, God, God saw through our needs and everything and sent me to a really good uh, Christian doctor who, uh, finally, the first doctor he sent me to wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be there apparently because they didn't take my insurance, you know. But the other doctor I had my, he operated on that one. And uh, he, uh, he, uh, he healed me. I figured all come back. Praise God. And I walk straight. Like, God right is mighty. And, and, uh, Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's been good. Yes, Amen. Praise you, Father. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I went with them for, to the first doctor they went to, and he said that he was going to have to be in rehab, and he was going to have to learn to walk all over and all this stuff. And they went to the other doctor, and he said they're going to fix it. So, Hallelujah. He's worthy. The yes, Lord is worthy. Lord. Yes. Worthy. Yes. Praise you, Father. Glory, glory to God. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. My message today. Hallelujah. Is choose life. Amen. Amen. Say Amen. choose life. Choose life. Hallelujah. Glory. Say choose life. Choose, choose life. life. I choose life. Hallelujah. You know we get to choose. Amen. Yes. God gives us a choice. Yes, He does. To live for God and serve Him with all our heart, or to live for the devil Sorry. and serve Him with all our heart. <laughs> if we choose not to serve God, then we are by default serving the devil. We live in a fallen world because of Adam's transgression. In the very beginning, God set two trees in the middle of the Garden of Eden. He set the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God told him, don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said, for the day you eat thereof, you will surely die. You will surely die. And so right there they had the choice, the tree of life or the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And it's always been that way. There's Amen. always been life, Thank you, Lord. obedience to God, and death following the devil or following the flesh. We need to walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. Amen. The flesh profiteth nothing, but the spirit brings you life. And the spirit will put to death if you'll apply the spirit of God to your flesh. The Spirit of God will put to death the old nature of the flesh. Yes. Jesus came to destroy your old nature and yes. make you a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, creature. Old things are passed away and all things have Thank become you, new. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to look at some scriptures through the whole Bible that deals with that, okay? Glory. Turn me to Genesis chapter 2. Thank you, Lord. Praise Thank you, me. Father. Genesis chapter 2, I think it's verse 9, but I can't see as good my, without my glasses. Hallelujah. I can still see without my glasses. I just can't see as good. <laughs> Glory. You know, they used to have scrolls to read the scriptures on. The letters were like this big. Now, I can read letters that big, <laughs> but I can't read letters that big. <laughs> Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. 
out of the ground, just talk about God, out of the ground he made, the, the Lord made, out of the ground he made the, made the Lord to grow every tree that's pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life, say the tree of life, the tree of life. also in the midst of the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then God had told them that they may freely eat of any tree of the garden. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he said, Thou mayest not eat of it. For thou, the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And then they came to the garden one day, Adam and Eve did. And, they, and the devil was in the tree of the garden as a servant. And the devil started talking to him. He said, Has not God said you may freely eat of any tree of the garden? Then Eve said, yes, we may freely eat of any tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that's in the middle of the garden, we may not eat of that, neither maybe should we touch it, mm -hmm. lest we die. Yes. I believe God really did tell them that. Even yeah. though he doesn't record it, exactly everything God said to him, he taught them all kinds of things. Yes, he did. Because they had sinned, and he taught them, after they sinned, he even taught them how to give, because he told Cain, he said, you should have done what was right. He knew how to give because God didn't give him instructions. That's right. God's, God does never, ever change. He's always the same. If you want to know, the Bible says if we want to know how the, word, the way God works, it says look at the scriptures of the Old Covenant. It mm -hmm. says they were given for our admonition so we can know the way that God works. God has never, ever changed. That's right. Amen. In Malachi, he said, I am the Lord. I change not. That's right. In the New Testament, it says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So God never, ever has changed. He never ever will change. Glory. If you're waiting That's for God right. to change, you better change yourself to come in line with God's ways because right. God is not going to change. Amen. Amen. He never, ever, ever will change. Thank so get in line with God's ways. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Kathy quoted the scripture in 1 John. This is the confidence that we have in Him. That if we ask anything that's according to His will, he heareth us. That's right. And if we know he hears us, whatsoever things we ask, then we know that we have the petitions that we desire Amen. to Amen. Thank you, Lord. We need to hold fast yes. to our confidence, to our faith. Hold fast to our profession, our confession of faith. Keep saying what the Word says. That's right. Keep saying what God says. Amen. That's what faith is. Faith is believing the Word of God and saying the Word of God and acting upon the Word of God and yes. doing what the Word of God says. Thank you. Faith obeys God. Yes. In Hebrews chapter 11, it says, By faith, Abraham obeyed God Amen. when he went to a land that he didn't know where he was going. God just said, Go to a land that I will show you. That's so right. he just packed up and went. Amen. By faith. Glory. Believing you, that Lord. God was going to show him where he's Amen. going. Thank you, Lord. Just believe God no matter what. That's Amen. right. Amen. God promised him when he was 75 years old that he would give him a son. <laughs> And yes. then him and his wife, after a while, I mean, Sarah was already barren. Mm -hmm. She hadn't had a child. I mean, now by this time, she's, just, she's up in her 60s, like 66 years old. Guess what? <laughs> if you're 66 years old, you're probably not going to have a kid. <laughs> really? <laughs> I better not. Oh, well, as time went by, they decided to try to help God out. Sometimes it's not a wise decision. <laughs> Sometimes it's better just to hold fast to your confession of faith and believe God. Yes. Amen. At the right time, God will get, get the need there. Amen. I remember Bonnie said that when God told her one time, I'm never too late, That's right. but I'm just on time. Always on time. Amen. I'm never too early, I'm never too late, I'm just on time. Amen. And God is. I mean, God will get the job done. Romans chapter 4 talks about Abraham. It said Abraham was strong in faith, believing God. When he was, when he was about 100 years old, he said he was not, he was not in doubt. He, was, he said his body was physically unable to have children by that time. Mm -hmm. He was 100 years old. He said he considered not his own body being dead when he was about 100 years old, neither did the deadness of Sarah's womb. Right. By this time she was 91 years old. Wow. But he was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Amen. Knowing that what he had promised, 
He was also able to reform. Because God had told him, I have made you the father of many nations. Well, and then God, to, to, to solidify it, he changed his name from Abram to Abraham, Abraham, which meant the father of many nations. Yeah. Then he had to go tell everybody, hi, I'm the father of many nations. That's right. Because names meant something back then. Amen. It meant something about you. Yeah. Yep. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank I'm you. the father of many nations. So when he started doing that, then his wife Sarah conceived, yes. 91 years old. And nine months later, she had a son. And they named his name Isaac. And God had promised Abraham that it would be through Isaac his seed would be. That's right. So the day came where the day came where God told Abraham, I want you to sacrifice Isaac. And the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 that he really believed in his heart that Abraham did. That if he went ahead and sacrificed Isaac according to God's promise, that God would raise him from the dead. Because God had told him that it would be through Isaac his seed would come. That's right. Now we're told in the New Testament his seed was actually Jesus Christ. That's right. And so if you're in Christ, you're Abraham's seed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He was the firstborn, firstborn among many brethren. Jesus was. He was the first fruits of God's, of God's creation of righteous people. Hallelujah. And if we're in Christ, He's in us. It's a positional thing. Yes, it is. And we need to walk in God's ways. Yes, I thank you, Lord. Sidetracked slightly there. Turn with me to John chapter 5. Good word. Amen. This is Jesus talking. John chapter 5, verse 24. You got a red letter edition. This is going to be in red. <laughs> Amen. Verily, verily. That means truly, truly. It's really, when any time the word says something twice, it's like extra, extra, extra emphasis on it. It's not just twice as much. It's like swearing in court. <laughs> I'm telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Verily, verily, I say, you he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, that means a sentence of death, but is passed from death unto life. Without Jesus, you're already dead. That's right. Jesus didn't come to destroy you, to sentence you to death. Jesus came to save you, to deliver you from death. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise your Father. But we've got to put faith in God's Word. Thank you, Lord. This word believeth is a Greek word, pistio, and it's a, literally a faith word. It means to exercise faith. So there's a lot of faith in the Bible. Paul said this is the word of faith which we preach. Yes. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. In other words, when they open their ears to hear what he says and decide to follow yes. his ways, then they'll live. Glory. For the Father hath life in himself, so hath the Son to have life in himself. And this same life that was in Jesus, he came to give this same life to us, to everybody who puts faith in him. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I've come that they may have life, that they may have it more abundantly. And I've given unto him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth they that have done good. Say, done good. Done good. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. And they, and they that have done evil, say, done evil. Done evil. Unto the resurrection of damnation. Jesus had preached the gospel to all flesh. Those that believe or have faith will be saved, delivered. Amen. And those who believe not shall be damned. There is a resurrection of all people. Every person in the world will be resurrected. Right. Some to spend eternity with God and some to spend eternity with Satan. Right. God has better digs. Amen. Read about it in Revelation. It talks about the kingdom of God. It talks about the new Jerusalem, the heaven of God where he lives. Amen. Jesus said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. He said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. 
I want to go be with Jesus forever. Yes. The Apostle Paul said, it's better for me just to go, but it's better for you that I stay here for a while. Amen. I mean, it's better for us to go, but it's better for other people that we stay here for a while. Because this is a lost and dying world without us preaching the truth of the gospel. Turn away from your sins and turn to God. Let Jesus deliver you from the yes, power of sin. Yes, without yes. us preaching this to people, they don't have a chance. That's right. They're on their way to hell. John 3, 17 says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world. He didn't come to kill people or sentence them to death. He came to deliver them. He came to save them. Deliver them from death. We're dead already without Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praise you. Turn me to Proverbs chapter 11. Praise you, Father. We'll start with verse 18. Praise your Father. The wicked, say wicked, wicked, worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a, a sure reward. Yes. Let's say with sure reward. Sure reward. As righteousness tendeth, as righteousness tendeth to life, mm -hmm. so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. There's life and death. Yes. Good and evil. Amen. Hallelujah. They that are, are of a froward heart are an abomination to the Lord, but such as are upright in their ways are his delight. Thank you, Lord. Though hand, join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Thank you, Lord. I know Tom and Gail stand on this scripture. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yes, thank you, Lord. As a jewel of gold in a swine snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good. That's right. If you're really righteous, you'll only desire good things. Amen. But the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is that scattereth, that means gives, spreads abroad, that scattereth and yet increaseth. And there is that withholdeth more than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. Another scripture says, you say in your heart that it's by your power, by your works, that you've got this wealth. It says, give, give to God, because it's God that gives you the power to get wealth, that he may establish, that he may establish his covenant in the earth. Yes. You see, God blessed Abraham so he could be a blessing. Amen. God blesses us to be a blessing. Don't just think about yourself. I used to just think about myself. God got after me for that. I was, I was praying before the Lord one day. I was hurting for somebody who was hurting. You know, we should, we should care about other people. Yes. And I cared about them more than I did myself. I said, Lord, I did if I had no extra money. I had no extra money to help them with. And so I said, Lord, I just really want to help them, but I have no extra money. You know what the Lord told me? He said, you've been selfish. I, I was only believing enough for me to get by. We need to believe for more than enough. We need to follow God's direction. Yes. We need to believe for more than enough. Yes. Because, because we need to believe to have extra to be able to give unto every good work. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. If we do that, God will bring in the supply. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise your Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. The liberal soul shall be made fat. That means prosperous. And he that waters shall be watered also himself. Jesus said, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men give it to your bosom? Yes. That's right. That's people. Yes. God uses people. Yes, he does. I had somebody come up to us. We were out doing traveling ministry. He came up to us, and I said, he said, I know God supplies your need, but I still want to give you this money. I thought, I didn't say anything, but I thought, yeah, he supplies our need through people. <laughs> you know what I'm That's right. He uses people. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One time, Kathy and I, we were down to no food. 
and we were doing traveling ministry, and uh, we were down to no food. We had not enough food for the next meal, and we, we hadn't told anybody. And so, so we just, I told Kathy, I said, well, God supplies all our need according to his yes, riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So the food will come. You know what? Somebody put food outside our door before That's the right. next meal. Amen. Amen. Several sacks of food. Yes. And that night we went to a revival. And the, the evangelist at that revival, he asked us after the service. We, we were down praying with people after the service. He asked us if we could use some food. And so here that's this is the same day. He, he, he said, I've got bunches of food they, that these people gave me, and I can't eat. He's an older guy. He said, I can't eat half of it. He said, if you'll come out to my trailer back here after service, he said, I'll fix you up. So we went back there, and all the thing is, the whole thing is, the food we got earlier in the day, there would be the pancakes. And that food, where there was the syrup. It was like everything was complimentary. One had the cereal, the other had the milk. Everything complimented each other. It was God for sure. Yes, it was. And yet, so, but God just supplies our needs. Yes, he does. God, God wants you to believe him for more than enough. Amen. Thank Matter of fact, there's a place in the Bible that says, Let him who stole steal no more. Let him work with his hands the thing which is good, so that he may have extra to give to the poor. Thank you, Lord. I mean, we need to be not be thinking about what we can get for ourselves. Now, God will take care of our needs. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. God will take care of all your needs if you'll think about reaching, touching other people's lives. That's right. Thank you, Lord. If you're determined to serve God with all your heart and yes. be obedient to his word. Yes. Praise your Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Verse 27. He that diligently seek good, say diligently. 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 diligently seek good, procureth favor. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come upon him. He that trusteth in riches, say trusteth in riches. Trust in riches. Shall fall. <laughs> but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. I think it's good to follow God. Amen. And walk in righteousness. Thank you, Lord. If you'll follow God, He'll lead you to blessings. Yes, He will. Right. Just follow everything God says. Amen. He'll lead you to blessings. Praise Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Verse 30 says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. That tree of life given. Amen. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that wins souls is wise. Amen. We need to follow God. Amen. We get to choose. Thank Turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 30. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 8. We'll start at verse 8. <clears throat> and thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all. Say all. All. You know, I looked this wall up. You know what it means? All. It means all. <laughs> Amen. And do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous. Say plenteous. Plenteous. In every work of thy hand. Work. In the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy land for, for, good. for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law, if thou turn, if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thy heart, yes. with all thy soul, for this command which I command thee this day is not hidden from thee, neither is far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up? to heaven and bring it down unto us. Now this portion of scripture is quoted in the New Testament also. Yes, it is. Come on. That we may hear it and do so. Neither it is this beyond the seas that we should say, who shall go over to the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very nigh unto thee. Yes. It is in thy mouth Thank you, Lord. and in thy heart. Hallelujah. And in the New Testament it says, it is the word of faith which we yes. preach. Yes, thank you, Lord. That, we, that thou mayest do it. Matter of fact, doing the word is faith. 
In the New Testament, it says, it's the word of faith which we preach. Yes. Doing the word is faith. Glory. Being obedient to the word of God is faith. Amen. James Thank says, Lord. instead of being just hearers of the word and not doers of the word, be doers of the word. For faith without works is dead, being alone. That's right. If you say you have faith but have not works, your faith is dead. We need to be doing what the word says to do. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day this life day. and good and death and evil. As God's always said that before us. Life and good and death and evil. We decide to do evil, it's dead. Romans chapter 6 the last verse says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our yes, Lord. Yes, and that's good. Amen. Jesus came to deliver us from doubt of death into life. Glory. Jesus did. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord your God and walk in his ways and keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply. Hallelujah. I want to live and multiply. Yes, glory. Jesus said, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. Amen. In the Greek, it literally says, and superabundance. Yes. That more abundantly is actually in the Greek. Superabundance. The Bible says God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his people. Yes. And prosperity is just walking in God's ways, having peace, joy, love, patience. That's right. All his goodness. His riches, amen. All his riches. Yes. I mean, it's good to have enough to have our needs met, but it's good to be able to bless other people too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Matter of fact, we get more pleasure out of blessing other people. Absolutely. I saw a deal on TV, they were talking to a bunch of kids. You think kids, they just want their stuff. They were asking them, would you rather get a present for Christmas or give a present, give your present to somebody. Like a, a majority, like almost 70% said they would rather give than they would receive. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise I'd rather give than receive. Amen. And when I give, I want to give something good. I want to give good. Thank you, Lord. That's what kind of attitude we should have. Amen. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou would not hear, that thou would be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that you shall surely perish, and that you shall not prolong your days on the land, whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record, uh, to record uh, this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore... Choose life. Yes. That's the title of my message. Choose life. Amen. Thank that you. That thou Lord. both do, that thou both thou and thy seed may live. We get to choose. Glory to God. We get to choose. Thank you, Lord. There's different doctrines that say that we don't get a choice. That God just chooses who yes. chooses. Yes. Who he who he needs gets to be saved. Yes. You know, God's will is that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. God's will is not that any should perish. Yes. If God got to choose, he'd just choose everybody. Glory to but God. God's going to have a people in the very end that chose to serve him by their own free will. Amen. You see, God had a, a bunch of angels in heaven that they chose to follow Satan instead of following God. They were cast down. That's to right. the earth, Jesus, I, I saw Satan as lightning fall to the earth. They, they had a choice. Even the angels in heaven, Jude said, even they had a choice. And they chose to follow. And they, even, they, even those that were in heaven, they had a choice. That's right. I believe we're going to be tested and tried in this life. Yes. We will be tested and tried. When you get saved, it don't mean trouble quits coming your way. It just means now, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. That's right. It just means now, you, 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 he, because he overcame, you can be an overcomer too. Yeah. She said, in this world, you will have tribulation.
should be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank Praise you. your Father. Glory. Glory to God. Thank you. Praise your Father. Praise you. <laughs> Verse 20. Thou mayest love the Lord thy God. Thou mayest obey his voice. And thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life. Yes. And the length of thy days. That thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. To Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob. To give them and he's give us these same promises. Yes, thank because you. we are the seed of Abraham. Lord. Through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Because Jesus is the seed of Abraham according to the New Testament Glory that I was God. talking about. Thank you, Father. And we are in him. He's in us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Turn me to Romans chapter 6. Praise you, Father. I'm getting there, folks. we got a lot of word, don't we? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Good. 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 Romans chapter 6. We'll start with verse 16. We're going to read verse 16, then verse 22 and 23. It's the Apostle Paul. Now, in the beginning of this verse, in the beginning of this chapter, now the Bible was not written in chapters and verses, none, nothing that none of it was. But later in the chapters and verses were added several hundred years later. But here, just so we can find things, Romans chapter 6, verse 16, you know not, know you not that to whom you yield, you say, we, I get to yield. I get to, you. to whom you yield your members to obey. Servant. His servants or slaves you are to whom you obey. Whether of sin, in other words, I can choose by my free will to yield myself to sin. Amen. But if I do, it brings death. Whether of sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. I can either choose to sin. If I choose to sin, it will bring death to me. In Hebrews chapter 10, it says once you come to Christ and you choose with knowledge to get into sin, it says there remains therefore no more sacrifice for your sins. But there's a certain fearful looking for us of judgment against the adversary. And you have done despite to the spirit of grace and tread underfoot the blood of Christ wherewith you were sanctified. I don't want to do that. I want to walk in God's ways. Amen. In 1 John chapter 1, it says if we confess our sins, now if we do, we do sin, if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And chapter 2 verse 1 says, I write these words unto you that you sin not. But if any man sin, let him know that, that we have an adversary, Jesus Christ. And He came to Redeem us. Take away our sins. And in him is no sin. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Glory to God. But now being made free from sin, verse 22, and having become the slaves of God, you have your fruit unto holiness. Say holiness. Holiness. You know, righteousness is holiness. I mean, when you come to Jesus, you're, you're washed, you're cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Thank but you, then, Lord. God gives you the ability through Jesus Christ to walk in His yes, way. Yes, thank you, Lord. You are a new creation Amen. in Christ. Old Come things on. are passed away and all Lord. things become new. You need to, Lord, act. You need to act like a new person Amen. you are. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And now being made free from sin, have become the slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness, and the end is everlasting life. Hallelujah. Lord. If you endure unto the end, you'll be saved, you'll be delivered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For the wage, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Now turn me to Romans chapter 8. Glory. <laughs> God's so good. His word's so good. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm almost there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep going. It's good. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. die. Brethren. Mm -hmm. That's pretty plain, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's not talking about physical death. 
Because we're all going to die physically. Everybody that's appointed wants the man to die, and then the judgment. So everybody's going to die physically. But if you walk after the flesh, you will die in this life. You'll die spiritually. You'll be separated from the life of God if you choose to get into sin. But if you, through the Spirit, say through the Spirit, through the Spirit, do mortify. This word mortify means put to death the deeds of the body. You shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now in John chapter 1, it says that God gives us the power to become a son of God. Amen. Thank in other words, Lord. the Spirit of Christ, when we were born again, when we, when we received Jesus as our Lord, God sends the Spirit of His Son into our hearts. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We Lord. become alive unto God through God. Him. Amen. He's reconciled us to Father God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Jesus said, in that day, Glory. He said, you don't ask me anything. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, He'll give it to you. Yes. He'll do it for you. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. You know, you were in sin, and you should have fear because sin brings death. That's right. But Jesus came to redeem you away from death and bring you into the, ki the kingdom of his dear son. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For as you have not received the bondage of fear again into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba Father. Daddy. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Now turn me to Galatians chapter 5. I'm almost done. <laughs> Galatians. Hallelujah. It's good stuff, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 5. Glory. We'll start with verse 16. Hallelujah. Say, choose life. Choose life. Hallelujah. Life. I say then walk in the spirit yeah. and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Oh, yeah. That's right. Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill 16. the lusts of the flesh. 16. Okay. This is chapter 5 verse 16. For the flesh, now I'm reading this from the modern King James Version. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. And then the King James says that you can't do the things you will do. But in the new King, modern King James, it actually says it more like it's supposed to be said. It says, lest whatever you may will, these things you do. In other words, you've got the flesh and the spirit pulling on you. And you, your will decides which one you do. I mean, we're told to walk after the spirit, not after the flesh. Amen. And the spirit and the flesh are both pulling on you. And because of Jesus Christ in you, you have the power now to follow the Spirit. Thank not the flesh. you, Lord. Yes. If you follow the flesh, you'll die. But if you, through the Spirit, crucify the power of the flesh, put to death the power of the flesh, then you'll live. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Jesus buried you, your sins in his own body on the tree. So you could be dead to sin and live under righteousness. By his stripes, we were healed. We're healed. Jesus Amen. has already paid the price. He hung on the cross and he said, it yes. is finished. The work is finished. Glory it's done. God. Thank you, Lord. Take yes. what God's done for you. Amen. Push into these things that God has done for you. Jesus said in Luke chapter 16, verse 16, he said the law and the prophets of the old covenant was until John the Baptist. He said, since then the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is preached and every man presseth into it. We have to press into these things. We have to seize them. We need to take them by force. Hallelujah. That's what receiving means. It means to take it, to seize it, to make it yours. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I say then walk in the spirit and, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Verse 18, but if you be led of the spirit, you're not under the law. In other words, if I'm walking after the Spirit, I'm not having to worry about whether, well, no matter what the law says, because I'm walking in love with my Father God, and I'm walking in love with my fellow man. That's right. Jesus said, if you do those things, you fulfill the law and the prophets. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. If you, your flesh rises up, it tells you to do things you shouldn't do. 
You ever got just feel like slapping somebody upside the head? <laughs> We've all done that, right? Yeah. We've all felt like that. Don't do that. That's a flesh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Walk in love. Tell yourself, walk in love. Ephesians 5, 2 says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, a sweet-smelling Savior. Thank you, Lord. The verse right before it says, Be ye therefore imitators of God as dear children. Hallelujah. It says followers in the King James. That means imitators. Now the works of the flesh are clearly revealed. Now I'm reading this from the modern King James translation. Which are clearly revealed, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, fightings, jealousies, angers, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and things like these. That's right. I mean, we all know what evil things are. My mother said, my father, my dad, I remember my dad when, he, when we were young kids. My dad was an evil man. I mean, he was, he was a good guy unless he was drinking. He had a problem. He got drunk. And he got drunk a lot. He'd come home and he'd do evil things. My mom, I remember seeing him knock her down in the bedroom one time. She told me a story about him, him choking her in the front yard one day. And I was Ivar over there. You said I, Ivar was there. He said, Ivar, help me, help me. And he ran, jumped in the car. And you know, when you get placed to the flesh, it's not good. Hallelujah. And my dad was had terrible jealousy when he got drunk. He was terribly jealous. I remember him accusing mom of cheating with the, with the salesman who kind of brought sold her supplies at her store, at her beauty shop. <coughs> he, he was just jealous of all kinds of things. He was jealous of all kinds of things. But mom said when the day when the day my father got born again. He was not jealous another day after that. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. The change man. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank Glory you, God. Lord. That's true, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. See, I got to witness my mother. He wasn't a drunkard anymore either. He wasn't a drunkard anymore either. He got delivered. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Goes on to say. Of which I tell, I said, I've told you before about this. I also said before that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You can't live like that and be a Christian. That's right. That's the way he says. You can't live like that and be a Christian. But the fruit of the Spirit yes. is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness. Faith, meekness, self-control against such. There is no law. One day I was praying. The Lord spoke to me and he said this. He said, the fruit of the Spirit is love. He said, all those other things are just products of walking in love. Amen. Thank and he you. said, read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. So I did. And it says, this is the fruit of the agape. It's a God kind of love. And it produces all these things in your life. Yes. Walk in love. It produces all these other things. It produces faith. It produces hope. It produces joy. It gives you peace. Thank you, you. You'll be patient with other people. Thank you, Lord. You'll be able to put up with stuff a long time. Long Amen. suffering. Thank you. You'll be kind. You'll be good. You see, faith worketh by love. I mean, faith worketh by agape. And the agape of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank so we need to walk in love, follow God's ways. Thank you, Lord. We we'll do those things. There is no law, but those but those belonging to Christ, those belonging to Christ, have crucified or put to death the flesh with the passions and lust. How do we do that? It's by the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit of Christ that's in you. If you're a child of God, the Spirit of Christ is in you. Romans chapter 8, it says, If the Spirit of Christ be not in you, you're not one of His. Jesus came to be a life-giving Spirit. That's His Spirit. He was able to shed it abroad in our hearts. His Spirit has joined our spirit. Paul said those that are joined unto the Lord are one spirit. Amen. Those that are joined unto the Lord are one spirit. Our spirit and His Spirit is joined or is united. 
And we are, we're a new creation in Christ. Amen. We're not the man we used to be. That's right. We're dead to sin. Paul, Paul said in Romans chapter 6, he said, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? He said, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin continue to live therein? He said, Don't you know we've been immersed into Jesus Christ? Yes. In the same way, our old sin nature is dead and buried in the grave with Jesus, and we've been raised up together with him in newness of life. Amen. We are new people in Christ Jesus. Yes, we are. Old things are passed away, Amen. and all things have become Thank new. You, Lord. We need to walk in this newness of life in Christ. Every day. We need to be who God would have us to be. Amen. We need to, we need to choose life and not death. Yes. Lord. We need to choose to walk after the Spirit and not after the flesh. We need to choose to forgive other people. That's right. And to walk in love with people. Yeah. Part of the prayer of faith is Mark eleven twenty five. It says, and as you stand praying, Mark eleven twenty four says, and what things wherever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And the next verse says, and as you stand praying, it's talking about the same prayer. And as you stand praying, if you have aught against anybody, forgive them, That's so right. that your Father which is in heaven may also Amen. forgive you your trespasses. Thank you, Amen. Lord. If you want to be forgiven, forgive other people. That's right. You know, there's times where we need to be forgiven. Yeah. I always want to be able to walk in love with people. I want my faith to work. Yes. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. If I'm in unforgiveness, my faith won't work. That's right. If I hate my brother, my faith won't work. Why? Because faith worketh by love. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Walk in love. And, motive, and, and give strength to your faith. Obey God. Have confidence towards God. The devil will use anything in your life that he can to get to break your faith, to get you into doubts and in unbelief. Well, look what you did the other day. God won't hear your prayer. Look what you did the other day. You know what you did? You said, Father, I'm just far, sorry for that. And I know that you cast into the, to the depths of the sea and you don't remember it anymore. Hallelujah. In Micah, it says that God, that God takes our iniquity and he casts them into the depths of the sea. No, the scripture says he remembers our sins no more. Hallelujah. You see, God doesn't remember that stuff and you shouldn't remember it either. The devil just brings it up to you. Well, you say, devil, that's forgiven. That's covered by the blood of Jesus. God has forgiven me. He's buried that. It's old thing. It's all passed away. I'm not that person anymore. I'm delivered. I'm set free. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I resist you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And just do what's right. Amen. Believe God. Amen. Have confidence towards God. Amen. Every day. Every day. Praise your Father. Thank you, Lord. Walk in love. Thank you, Lord. Choose to walk in love. Crucify the things of your flesh. I used to have fear problems in several areas. So I started saying, God's not giving me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. Every time fear would try to rise up, I said, I am not going to fear because God's not giving me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and sound mind. Yes, and the love of God has been shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. Lord. And perfect love cast out all fear Lord. because fear brings torment. Yes. That's right. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I did that, and you know what? The power of fear got crucified in my life. Thank you. Lord. I used to have a terrible phobia of spiders. Anybody here is afraid of spiders? I had a terrible phobia of spiders. Tom said snakes. Oh yeah. I'm not afraid of that stuff anymore because fear got crucified in my life. The only thing I'm afraid afraid of is not obeying God. Fear. I'm a fear of that. Yeah, fear. I'm a fear of that. I'm not obeying God. God I'm God fearing. I'm fear have fear of God. Yeah. Jesus said, Don't fear somebody who can just hurt your body. He said, Fear somebody who can not only hurt your body, but can throw you in hellfire. Jesus said that. Yes, he did. He used that the H word. Yes. Jesus did. Yep. I'm not better than Jesus. I use the H word too. You know, there is a hell to shun. Amen. There's a heaven to gain. Yes. But we get to choose. Amen. Am I going to walk after the spirit or am I going to walk after the flesh? Thank you, Lord. I, I choose life myself. Lord. I don't know. I hope you all choose life, too. Yeah. Praise you, yeah. That's my message. You. That's Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you.
Hallelujah. Thank God, God is good, 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 good. He's a good, good God. Yes, he is. He's mighty God. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve.